Well, hello everybody. Welcome to my craft room. My name is Wendy Porter and I am the Lap Tray Crafter and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in the UK and I'm in the very wet North Devon. So welcome everybody. Do say hello when you come on. Hello Hazel, welcome. How are you today? We'll wait for a few others to come on, all right? I'm just checking to make sure I've gone live in the right... I think I have. And I'm just trying to see if I can see comments. Yay, good, right, good. Okay. Okay, what's the weather like with you down there? Hello, Val. <laughs> You're trying to meet... <laughs> Is there a competition between the two of you? <laughs> oh, yes, you're back to work, Hazel, tomorrow, aren't you? Are you OK, Val? Raining, yeah, raining. It's And it's windy here. We must have had very strong wind in the night because... Um, I, one of our fence panels has um, come unattached, shall we say. And I have no doubt if the wind that is there now carries on, within the next hour or so, it will be completely flat. So, uh, so that's not very good. And it's a horrible grey day. It's one of those days where I say the sky has hit the ground. So we'll just wait another second or two and then we'll get started. And I'm going to be using, let me get the bits out, I'm going to be using Hey Chick and Hey Birthday Chick. There's Hey Chick and then there's Hey Birthday Chick and you'll notice the difference in the tops this is because this was the one that came out in the celebration you i saw your pen pot val that looks very nice yeah i didn't it didn't the winds didn't wake me up because i don't i not a lot wakes me up to be honest um but um, it's very very windy out here now from when i'm sitting in my craft room i've got a tree at the bottom of my garden and it's blowing about like a mad thing. And there are no birds today in the school playing fields. I don't think they could take off today. <laughs> Hello, Sue. Welcome. Hope you're well. Right. So let's get going. Um, today I'm going to use Hey Birthday Chick which is from the mini catalogue and Hey Chick. Now you'll notice there are two different coloured tops to this stamp set. This was a stamp set that we had in the celebration. I think it was three years ago. All right. And it was very, very popular. And the artist that drew this one, she obviously decided she'd like to have another go. Good, I'm glad you're OK, Sue. Um, so she's created some more of these lovely chick images. And as you can see, they go together beautifully. But what the exciting thing is, we have now got dies. Originally, this was just a stamp set, but we have now got dies um, to go with the um, stamp set. And it's got some extra bits in it. This one particularly I love. I think that is gorgeous. We've got some eggs, which will be good for Easter. And we can cut out each of the chicks. And then we've got this one. And this one also comes. And again, this has some extra little bits a lovely fence 
and a little banner nice little banner there and you can cut out the um the chicks and the egg i'm not sure if i like the egg uh, I'm, i haven't used it yet but also you get this very good little happy birthday it's all joined together so you just need to pop it through a piece of card and um, there you are and it's it's um laid out in such a way that you could easily put glue onto the back of it or if you wanted to you could use the adhesive sheet or the um the uh, what am i looking for the word i'm looking for the big 3d sheet okay so let's get going we're going to start with a nice simple card and look girls i have brought out very vanilla again oh lovely val i look forward to seeing it is that using the the, the stamp set as well lovely lovely now today i am going to use just um colors from the neutral range i'm using the six by six neutrals pack if i need any designer series paper all right um i'm going i've got some ink pads that are from neutrals so i've got smoky slate sahara sand crumb cake merry burlow and mossy meadow so we will see and i've also got this this is a huge stamp all right it's a background stamp and it's called all wired up um, yeah all, all wired up all right that's one you haven't got hazel well it's it's a, i i like it because it's great for backgrounds all right so um so anyway so i've got that out as well so we might use that as well but first of all all i'm going to do is a really simple stamping card and i'm going to choose one of the chicks and i think i'm going to choose one that's quite a simple one to use sahara sand and what i'm going to do now i have done i have um, already cut yeah i've already cut uh, stamped and die cut some of the the, the chicks all right just to save a little bit of time but this is sahara sand and i'm just literally going to so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make my background and i'm just literally stamping all over my piece of card So that's one lot of stamping done. Now let me bring in my my shelling to give it a clean. Thus far I'm doing quite well with cleaning my stamp after every time I've used it. Now I'm going to bring in now there's this cute little stamp that's got little dots on it let me just show you what it looks like yeah so i'm just literally going to fill in some gaps kind of pumpkin pie real red crushed curry oh you're not crafting today val okay you're just watching good okay there we 
we go. So there's our background paper. Now what I'm going to do, my plan is I've already die cut one of these little chickens, right? And I'm going to give that a little bit of colour. So because we don't have Merry Merlot as a blend, what I thought I might use is Blackberry Bliss. Let's have a let's just have a little look at it. Yeah, let's have a go. Mm -hmm. Do I think that's going to be um, too different to Merry Merlot? I do. Right, I'm going to bring out... Mm, let's use Cherry Cobbler instead. Let's have a little look at that one. Yeah, I think that'll do. So I'm lit. Oh, look... I haven't used cherry cobbler for a very long time, so I'm just going to squiggle a bit down the bottom here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm using the light cherry cobbler. I'm just literally going to colour it in. Blending in where I've got my I don't know whether you can hear the wind but it's really howling because I live so high up out of town um, when it gets windy it really does get windy here so I'm literally just going around here I should think you have the same trouble where you are don't you Val because you're quite high up aren't you Colouring. I think my cherry cobbler is about to run out. Of course, it's one of those colours you do use a lot at Christmas, so probably time for a new set. There we go. Okay. Bring in the other end, and I'm just going to add a little bit where those little marks are with the blunt end just to give it a little bit of dimension and I'm not going to colour the head I'm going to leave the head I think or oh, I could do it a grey colour hmm, what do you think I could do I could do it a, shall I try doing the head a grey colour what do you think shall I, let's try it and see what it looks like Grey for the head. Now I must confess, oh there we go, hehe. <laughs> Grey head. I have got pumpkin pie um, blend out because I wanted to um, use that for the beak. Beak. I always think chickens have got a nice bright beak. And she definitely needs something for her these bits that hang here and here there we go yeah. oh yeah so you're a bit like me val so because i've got the school playing field to the bottom of us we don't get any um we don't get any protection at all from any of the houses close by right so that's going to pop on there 
Now, on this in this set, there is a lovely little happy birthday stamp. Now, the happy birthday is just the right size for um, the classic label punch, which I have got out. Yeah, so it's just the right size for that. So let me stamp it like so. Okay. But I discovered when I was having a play that it's also just the perfect size to fit onto this. Hello, Pam. Welcome. Happy birthday. It's been lovely seeing what's been going on in your household today. And can you see this just fits onto this oval beautifully. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to punch that. Now I won't throw that away. I will keep that. Right. So I'm going to use that. So this is going to go. I think I'm going to pop this here in the middle. And I think I'm going to pop this to one side like so. So we got a very monochrome card. Right, whoops. Let's glue that together before we put the bits on. So make sure I've got the right side. Oh, nearly didn't clean my stamp, girls. You'll have to show your stamp. I think it's a good job you're not out running today, Pam. I think you would get blown over. Don't you? Okay, this is going to pop on here, like so. Chickens. And then I'll bring in some dimensionals. Okay, and this one is going to go on the back of here. Like so. Me a little bin. There it is. There's my little bin. Ooh. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to layer that over that chick in the middle. Cool. So it pops up. And then I'm going to pop this here and I'm going to put this on flat, I think. A little bit of glue. And my lint, my feels weird not to be running. Yeah. Oh, brilliant! Well done, Pam. You carry on playing with your little machine. Your new, well, you've got the big machine, haven't you now? Yay, brill. So I'm just going to tie a little bow in linen thread because I think linen thread and. Um, chickens in my mind go quite well together <laughs> don't know why but they do so there we go little bow and a pair of scissors would help wouldn't they there we go where shall i put that i'm going to put that over there make that a bit smaller I'm going to put that underneath there and I need some glue dots. So put a glue dot behind the knot as we always do. So anybody who's just joined us, you're very welcome 
today I'm playing with two stamp sets. One's called Hey Chick and the other is called Hey Birthday Chick. That's going to go on there. Yes, I know you had it for your birthday, Val. Don't I? <laughs> Here we go. So there we go. So shall I put some bling on there? Let me see. What shall I put? Some pearls, I think. Some lip oils. Let's just dot a few about in a random place. Yeah. In fact, I'm going to put one there above the eye of birthday. And then I'm just going to pop a couple here by her tail and then one up there and that's all I'm going to do so oh you're going to get the mini do you know I use I think I probably use the mini easily as much as I do the big one obviously the big one I need it for my embossing folders because I do like the six by six embossing folders and the bigger ones but if I'm just die cutting I mean I quite often of an evening get my little machine out and um, while I'm watching the telly I will just literally die cut some shapes so there we go there's our first card yay good now I've tried to be organized today girls so let me see let's do this one so I've die cut some bits look and I've even stamped and um, die cut this is it and you can see the the dies they just leave a lovely little edge all the way round so isn't that cute oh and here look here's the happy birthday and I've die cut this out of Merry Merlot. So isn't that lovely? So all I'm going, oh, that's not a very straight card. Look at that. And what did I do? Oh, oh no, there's a piece that I'm going to put on there. I thought I'd mis misfolded it. So that's going to go on there. That's going to go on there, like so. No, that's going to go on there like so and then this is going to go in the middle okay and then this is going to go over that or shall i do it like this to one side eh do you think girls to one side or yeah i'm thinking to one side like that and i've die cut this little shape now, for the life of me, I can't remember which shape it's from. I think it's one of the um, the nested labels, I think. Because, look, happy birthday just fits on there. So cute. So cute. Um, when I when I finished, I will do a blog post and I will put on there all the dies and the sets they come from so that you can see which one but i thought that was dead cute right so this is going to go on here I'm... bit of glue not a lot and of course hazel for you because you you're taking stuff backwards and forwards to dave's aren't you um Carrying the little one would be much easier for you, wouldn't it? So that's going to go on there. Now this is the same size. So this is a five and a half inch square. And this is a five and a half inch by three and a half inch. So I think what I'm going to do, am I going to put this on one side? That's what I'm thinking I might do. Yes, I'm going to stick the two those together, but I'm going to leave a little edge, right? 
Or shall I use that side? Oh, what do you reckon, girls? This sort of size. Oh, this sort of size. Or do you think the circles are better? What do you think? Circles? Circles. I think circles. Do you? The circle that I'm going to put on there. Spots. You call them spots, do you, Val? Yeah, I agree. I think the spots are better. So that's what I'm going to use, right? The spots. Let's put some glue on here. Spots, as it looks like chicken wire. You're right. Yeah, you're right. That's a good reason as any to do it, Hazel. So, circles it is. Now, Pam has got all of the new designer series paper. And she showed me some of them when we had a little online chat the other day and I can tell you girls the patterns on them are fab to die for and that's going on there so then I'm going to put that on there and I'm going to put that on there flat I think and I'm not even going to put anything on it oh I'll tell you what I might do shall I hmm. how about if I do a little bit of sponging because I've got my sponge thingies, my blending sponges. So I want one that says red on it. Yeah, there we go. So how about if I do Yeah, it won't be long now, Val, and those of us that are gonna be going to on tour, we're gonna see the catalogue soon. I know it's not till April, but we're still going to get it earlier. And we're just going to go round the edge, very gently round the edge, because this is quite a dark colour. I do like these blending brushes. And you all know that I'm not a, I'm not a person who likes messy stuff. But I do like these brushes. They are so cool. There we go. That changes the colour of that completely. Right. So let's get that out of the way. And let's get putting that on there. Oh, look at that. That's nice. So that's going to go on there. And I'm going to put it on with... Am I going to put it on with dimensionals? Or shall I just put it flat? I'm going to put it on flat. Flat. I need some glue on there. You saw some on sap Yes. Yes. I, um, we could have bought them, but I decided I would rather wait because I've got quite a lot of the 6x6 six six packs for the current pattern left. So I thought, no, I will wait until they come out in pre-order. Hopefully they'll be in pre-order. And um, I will get them then. So, right, I'm going to put this here chicken on here. Now, shall I do a bit of colouring? What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring... Oh, have I got one here? I'm going to bring a blender pen. Right. So, all I'm literally... I'm not... I don't want it to be really dark. I'm just going to lift some of the colour. Right. And this is our blender pen and you get two to a pack if I remember rightly and all it it does is it lifts the colour and smooches it about a bit so if you don't have watercolour pencils or our blender pens this is another alternative 
for doing a bit of easy colouring. There we go. So let's just spread that colour about a bit. I'm going to leave the wings. I'm going to leave the wings um, white and the tail I'm going to leave white. But I think I need to do something with this heady bit, head bit here. What shall I do? Shall I do? Shall I do it with me pumpkin pie? Let's have a look and see. I'm going to use dark. Oh no, I don't want dark pumpkin pie. Have I got light pumpkin pie? Oh, I could use mango melody. That would look quite nice. If I could find mango melody. Yeah, mango melody. Sort of an orangey colour, isn't it? Yeah, light mango melody. So I'm just going to... Oh, oh, colour. Just going to colour in. Now these bits here do have a do have a name, but I can't remember what they are. And I'm going to colour colour her feet. There we go. They're three in a pack, are they, Val? Thank you. So that's going to go on there. I'm going to put some dimensionals behind her, like so. When I was little, and I don't mean very little, but school age, I spent a lot of time living with my granny and grandpa. And they had a kind of, uh, they had a huge, huge garden. And um, they, they ran it as an allotment. So they used to grow stuff, you know, vegetables and and certain times of the year they would have turkeys but they would always have chickens and the chicken coop was just outside the back door as i might say that's the word val wattle is that the bottom the top bit or the bottom bit um um just outside the kitchen door was the hen coop so, and it was my job to go and get the eggs from the when the chickens had laid their eggs and I used to have my own little chicken her name was Rosie so that's why I thought I'd choose Mary Merlot because I got reminded me of Rosie and the chickens used to run wild you know all over the allotment so at the weekend when I wasn't at school, I had to go hunting out all the eggs. There we go. Cool. Don't that look good? Now I'm going to put that on there. Now. Oh. Where did the sound come from? Hold on a minute. There we go. I think it's from my my laptop I'll turn the sound off okay now what am I going to use for the sentiment on this card uh, mm, mm, mm. now I thought I've got I've got out do, 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 do. I've got here happy thoughts and this has got happy birthday on it now I thought I had it already on a stamp. I do. Already on a stamp. But that's going to be too big, look. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Oh, I know. That's what I said I was going to use it for, was the die-cut happy birthday. Let me just get my pokey tool. And... Um, for those of you that don't know, our pokey tool, it comes with a, t a pointy tool and on the other side is a little spatula, which I must confess I've hardly used at all. And then you have an end where you can put your, what I call the putty end, which is great for picking up um, 
dim uh, not dimensionals any little jewels and things like that and you also get another bit that has got a ball tool and you have a thin one and a thick one and as you can see I've got two just because I use them such a lot I've got two so I've got them all ready but you can easily change them they're very easy to just switch and change over so I just need to use my pokey tool or have they fallen out yeah they've fallen out and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop that onto there cool so the top the bit underneath the chin is called a, a what a wattle as well is it Val I should know shouldn't I having had a chicken of my own you'd think I would know but I don't right so now I could have put this onto as I say an adhesive sheet but I didn't so I'm going to bring in my silicon mat those of you that haven't got one it's one of the things I suggest to anybody who's stamping out starting out when I've got a bit of glue in me ink is a silicon mat and I'm just literally putting some dots of glue on the back of my shape like so a bit there right yes you can um, have I got the brush yeah here's the so I've got three of these this is the brush what the brush looks like Pam and as Val says you run it over your your die cut piece and it will push out all those little bits all right and it's great if you've got big pieces that you've cut out saves heck of a lot of time trying to poke them all out all right and as you can see I've got another another body that I've stuck it into now what I've done is because as you see I put quite a lot of glue on there I've just turned it upside down onto my silica mat just to get rid of the excess and now I'm going to put this on here that way the glue runs on goes onto my silicon mat and not onto my background now you you didn't you won't get a brush with it you have to buy it separately Pam and now when that dries that will all rub off so let's get some pearls now what I'm going to do is with cherry cobbler I am going to colour oh, some of these little pearls if, uh, might have to get the, the other colour out there we go because these are alcohol inks you can colour a heck of a lot of stuff so I'm just going to let that dry and then I'm going to put that on the front of my card so I think I'm going to pop this up on some dimension some dimensionals Did your fences survive Pam one of ours is blowing down in fact I just had a crash and I think that was it going I'm just going to stand up and have a look yeah yeah still wavering in the wind but it won't last very long I've been on to my um the man who comes and does my bits of gardening and stuff for me um, and he's coming on Tuesday. I said to him, I said, I think I need a new fence panel. 
Hello Judy, welcome. How are you? So there we go. So there's another card and I'm just going to pop some bling onto it. We're using Hey Birthday Chick and Hey Chick today. Judy. Oh, yeah. came away with the glue. No, it didn't. Okay. You can see this little putty end. Oh, did he? Oh, that's great, Pam. That goes on there. And then I'll pop one over this side. And then one underneath here. I'll pop one under the eye, like so. So there we go. I'm going to put the lid back on my putty end. There's another card done. Cool. So. Is it windy up your way, Judy? It's dead windy down here. Right, so what am I going to do next? Oh, right, now. Okay. Now I'm going to use Mossy Meadow now. What I've done is, as you can see, I've got my normal square card. Thank you, Val. I've got a piece that I have put through the old paper. I think it's called old paper embossing folder. Then I've got a piece of paper going to go down there. In fact, that's going to go like so, I think. And this is going to go like so. So this is one of the other patterns in the 6x6 pack. And as you can see, I've stamped and die cut this cute little image. Don't you think that's lovely? And I've also die cut the little banner and I cheated I layered up I layered up three pieces of designer series paper and, and ran it through just once as you can see they're stuck together and now I can't get them apart but they will come apart you will cut a pot thank you Hazel oh that will come apart in a moment so let's put these together first uh -huh. have you all got a drink girls Are you keeping hydrated hmm. i'm going to use this side i don't use that side very often i'm not going to be too frugal with me glue because it's bumpy some more glue or oh, could use the no because I want it to go across you see I didn't if I wanted it to go across I cut I, I should have cut that the other way it would be a, it won't won't be the right way so I'm going to use the the wood effect side or well, at least that's what I call it wood effect like so on there okay and then this is going to go down the middle like so 
Ooh. Ooh, that came out a bit. Move that around a bit because there's quite a lot there. Splodgy, splodgy. Move that to go on there. Like so. And this is going to go on the top. sure I've got it on the raised bits so that hopefully it will stick and this should just have a little bit either side okay. and then I'm left with with him her Now I'll tell you what I did notice in the um, the dies that come with this. There is a little bow tie, which if you wanted to make your chicken a male chicken, I mean chickens are always ladies as far as I'm concerned. A rooster is a male chicken. Um, I am. You could easily put a bow tie on it, couldn't you? And I can't get this bit out of here. It would have been much, much easier to run them through separately <laughs> the time it's taken me to get these two apart. Oh, come on. Uh, come on. Yay, got there eventually. So that's going to go on there. It's going to go there like that. I'm not going to use the red bit because I want my card to be a monochrome card. So let's put now the chick, the chicken, she is going to go on with dimensionals. Shall I add some colour? Now, what I notice is here, round the tail bit, they've put a little bow. How about we try and wrap? We try and wrap some twine round there what will that look like let's just have a look and see it might not be the quite the right shape no don't like that so i will do a bow and i will add it afterwards but shall i color him what do you think shall i color her in let's give her some color what i might do is I'm going to leave the the, le the leaves. I'm going to leave the feathers, and I'm going to just do a little outline. Just round her head. Round here. So that kind of gives it a 3D look. And the same with the tail. I'm just pulling in that ink just to give it a sort of an outline. And I'll do the same with the wings. go and then when you finish just remember to just r rub it on some paper till it gets cleaned and i will do some i will add some color to her feet and her beak because i don't think she can have green feet have you is there a chicken that's got green feet i don't suppose there is We'll do her wattle. 
Okay. Hmm, shall I do some, put some, how about I put some Wink of Stella on the balloon? Yeah. getting low on the sparkly stuff unless they have green wellies on <laughs> there are some with red feet are there oh wow well there you go yeah that's better so I'm just going to put some sparkle on the balloon and I'm trying to keep away from the edges So I don't, because it will, I don't mind it doing it that bit there, just to give it a bit of a, there you go, bit of sparkle on the balloons. There's some with red legs. Hmm. Hmm. Well, there you go. So, let's pop some dimensionals on. this on first then I can decide oh, where I'm going to put those little bannery bits yeah thought I better put a, a little dimensional just in the center there because otherwise that's going to co collapse um, so shall I just cut a little bit from the side yeah what I'm going to do is I'm going to can you see down this edge here there are some tiny little bits let's cut a bit of those That's too long. Down a bit. Okay, so I've cut some little little pieces. One there. And one just there. And now I've got my fingers stuck all over it. Okay. That's going to go on there like so. Okay, so that's going to go, do you think it needs to go that way? Yeah, that way probably be better, wouldn't it? And that way across the corners. So bring in my silicon mat. And the bits that I had on there earlier on are dried now, you see, so I can just rub them and they will, they will just flake off. shake here we go and I'm just losing my bit of grid paper so let's put a little bit of a little bit of glue on here a little do little dollop of glue Once again, I'm just going to so. 
and do the other one. Oh, sorry, girls, I just hit the camera. I hope we didn't wobble. Turn that over. Now, because this is quite thin, where's me? Um, I did have a pair of tweezers here the other day when I was playing. It make it easier to pick them up. Where are your tweezers going? Okay. Right, so. side that's gonna go like so and I'm gonna cut that bit off there and then this bit I'm gonna go and meet it so that's it I'm gonna need little scissors just snip that off that's fine so there we go another card and I don't even know that I'm going to put a, um, a sentiment on it or shall I what do you think I can do with a sentiment do you think so let's use do, 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 happy birthday and I'm going to bring in a piece of I'm looking for a scrap of very vanilla piece out and I will stamp in Mossy Meadow so it is a stain with the same colour so colouring in the balloon yeah I've I, I deliberately chose to keep the balloon um, just a that colour um, oh, I could colour it in let me just finish just po punching out this do, 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 do. And can you see this just fits onto the classic label punch perfectly I think I should I should colour it in, do you, Pam? What colour shall I pack? Shall I do it the same colour as the feet? Wait, yeah, I've used. I don't know whether you can go over Wink of Stella with another colour. Let's have a go and see. What happens when you do? Does it show up? Here we go. We've got a yellow balloon or mango melody balloon. What happens to... Oh, look, it still does show through. Look at that. Can you see? The, if I show you right, the wink of Stella does show through. Well, that's something I I didn't know. I better just clean that a bit in case it's got wink of Stella on it. Okay. Do you think that's better with the balloon coloured in rather than leaving it plain? But what I did say was I'm going to put so I'm going to put happy birthday I'm just going to put happy birthday here happy birthday right there I'm going to use little dimensionals which I think I've got some in my box yeah where's my pokey tool and this is where the pokey tool comes in handy you can just pull those off of there good I'm glad you like it Pam it's your idea <laughs> are you crafting Judy or are you just just enjoying the piece and watching Uh -huh. Right, I'm going to put that just there. That could 
do it like that. Do it wonky. Right, do it wonky. Here we go. Put a few pearls on, do you think? I do. Could use some bling actually. Let's have a look. As we've got sparkle on, because we've used Wink of Stella, why don't I use some some basic jewels? Uh -huh. Aha, right, okay. We were going to tie a bow, weren't we? Let's see if we can put a little bow on her tail. It'll have to be quite tiny. Scissors. little bow there yep that's what I'm gonna do a little bow thank you Val oh. there we go ooh, ooh, ooh. tie then put the knot on the glue dot and then if it's a tiny little knot as this one is just fold it in and then pop that down like so there we go I'm going to get rid of some of this extra stuff from the glue dots because I don't need that so there we go there's another card cool and now I'm going to have a slurp another slurp Okay, right. So, now. This next one might be my last card. Another set for your wish list, along with the dark. Yes, that's what I did, Val. Uh, because I already had Hey Chick, I just ordered the dies. And then I got Hey Birthday Chick, the bundle. And, of course, when you buy the bundle, you do save. So, um. It's always worth it, I think. Right, now, this card is going to be just stamping, I think. So, what I've got here is five and a half by five and a half piece of fairy vanilla. And this time, I've cut out this cute one with the with the cupcake look and I've done um, a fence now I've done happy birthday but I don't know whether I'm going to do use that or not I'll set it there so I've got a fence and I die cut this is one of the dies that comes and I think that could look quite nice behind her but I want to do something, stamp something behind, right? So what I'm going to do is I am going to use the all wired, all wired up stamp set, which I have put somewhere. Right, okay, here we go. All right, so I'm going to put that in the corner. So I'm going to use smoky slate. I don't want it too dark and because this is a big stamp right um, me, me washi tape is coming off of me grid paper let me just fix it down right. so because it's a big stamp you're always better taking a your ink 
to a big stamp. All right. Now, you have now got two things you could do. If you're able to, you could lift this stamp up like so and put it down. If you're not able to, then take your card and put it on top of your stamp and then get a piece of kitchen towel and just rub, uh, put that over the top and then rub it. All right. Now, because I can, I am going to pick it up and it's difficult, I will admit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on the wonk. Am I going to put it on the wonk? Am I going to put it like that? I am going to put it like so. I must confess I'd forgotten all about this stamp set. Look at that. Chicken wire. Yeah, chicken wire. Now I'm looking for me. Shammy, clean it all over. I always forget I've got these lovely background stamps. They sit on my shelf and then I don't use them. I'm glad I've used this one today because it's a nice one to use. Right, and it fits in with chickens quite nicely, I think. Now I need to put that out of the way somewhere. It's a bit damp. Right, so, ooh, ooh, ooh. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some little dots on here as well, just to fill in, and I don't want them very dark, so. add a, another little texture to it really so now what am I going to do am I going to put another chicken behind there do I want another chicken why don't I stamp another chicken I'm going to do it in grey going to do it very very pale in the background hmm do I want that one or do I want the other one that looks that's got the um the covid hairdo what do you reckon I'm going to use that one let me clean that one clean that stamp I'm going to use this one. Don't you think she's got a COVID haircut? This one, look. I definitely do. What I will say, Val, is um, the celebration set, when it came, was not a cling set. Well, at least the set I had wasn't. So um, I used the adhesive, you know, the, the stuff we've got so that we can add some... I'm going to put that there. It's not meant to be very dark. It's just creating a sort of a pattern in the background. Okay. In fact, it's very, very pale. You probably can't see it on the camera. I can just about make it out. All right. Now, do I want to add a little bit of um, blending something? Shall I get the green? Let's 
add a bit of green to it, I think. So I have got, I've got one of my blender brushes for nearly every colour. So this is the one for the greens. So let's see how dark this is going to be, because I don't want it dark. Ooh, ooh, a bit dark. So, okay, definitely needs to be rubbed off quite a bit. Can you see that's quite dark? So, okay, so I'm going to just literally... Just building up a bit of um, texture. So I think I'm going to put that on there. And then this is going to go on here. And then now if I move that over that side, then I can put a bit of fence. Now what I'm going to do, when you cut the die cut the fence out, it has this wood effect to it. Now, I don't want this little bit at the end here, so I'm going to cut that off. Scissors. Where's my scissors? They're here somewhere. There we go. Scissors. I'm just going to cut that so there. So. And then that is going to go on there like that. Cool. So let's just lay this bit down. Now, I could, and I probably should have put this on to adhesive sheet but I didn't so I'm going to put some glue on it now because this is foil right all I would all I say is be very very careful be very frugal with your glue because what you don't want is you don't want glue getting onto your foil because it's you will not get it off so what I'm going to do just going to put a little because my chip will keep it in place so I'm just going to put some little dots here right I'm not putting an awful lot on at all because as I say my chip will keep it in place uh, okay get that out of the way this is going to go here. Just gives it a bit of little bit of dump. Oh, a little bit of dimension. <coughs> <coughs> oh dear, sorry, girls. Oh, I hope that didn't blast your ears. Okay, so there's that. Now I'm going to put my check on here. Shall I colour me um me me, me me little cupcake? Why not? Let's use Mango Melody again, keeping them all the same colour. I'm gonna colour the, the icing. Shall I colour the icing? No, I'm gonna colour the colour the that bit and the flame, and then the beak. She looks really as if she's looking forward to eating this, doesn't she? Have you had any of your cupcakes yet, Pam, that you had for your birthday? They look yummy. So let's put some dimensionals behind her. Definitely going to need some little ones. Dimensionals. What do we put the dimensionals?
Cool, the wind's really getting up. Cool. I didn't remember them saying it was going to get very windy. I thought they said we were going to have a lot of rain. Here we go. This is going to go on here. Okay, okay. So that's gonna go on there like so, and then I'm gonna put some dimensionals behind the fence. Hmm. I think I need some. Let me uh, now. What I was wondering was, we sell these little um what's it called it's a st adhesive strips foam adhesive strips and it's meant to be used for making shaker cards and they come like this right and you get 40 strips now i have not used these for ages and, uh, let me see if i can even get them out of the packet there we go And they're quite thick and you see there's lots of little strips of them all right I'm gonna I'm just gonna cut some down to fit my gate posts and I think these will fit just nicely okay see a bit too long but that's all right now you want to make sure you get your Yeah, my cards often need large letter posting, Val, because uh, I put so many dimensionals on things. When I'm sending my, you know, if I get commissions and I say to, I say to people, are you posting these or are you going to hand carry them? And I say to them, do you want me to make them very dimensional? Because you'll have to send them large letter majority of people don't mind actually paying large letter you know those little boxes that I use for my stamp and sip in the post those um, can go large letter because they just fit in the um, the medium slot. Right, so my little fence is just going to go there. I'm just going to put it all there. Now it needs to, yep, yeah, that's fine. Cool. Look at that. What do you reckon? I had a plan, but I didn't know how it was going to come out. I think that's quite nice. I'm quite pleased with that. Right, so now. I've got a piece of Sahara sand here. And 
I think that will go nicely behind there. And I've just cut it. I think it's five and five and five eighths. I've cut it to a bit. This is all gluey here. Or is it my fingers that are gluey? Let me bring it up. of my card so and this is going to go on the top And I don't think I'm even going to put a sentiment on it. What I might do is I might put happy birthday on the inside. Yes, it looks better with the background. Yeah, I agree. It just pops it all out, doesn't it? So, shall I put some pearls on there? Why not? Just because we can. Da, 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 da. So there we go, there's another card. And I don't know whether you can see the uh, the little shadowy chick behind there watching her eat her birthday cake. Right, so that's another one. So how many have we done? That's four. Do you want to do another one? You got time? I've always got time. And of course there's no rugby this week because it's a week where there's, they're having a rest. But instead, there's snooker. Now, who likes snooker? Any of you watch snooker? I've got another card ready. So let's go. Let's go with this. So what I've done is I've got a piece of thank you Pam right so another one right so I take it you're saying lovely yeah to the card not to snooker Pam I can't imagine you watching snooker I bet David does though Da, 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 da. So I have got four little squares that I've die cut, right, and, and I've got happy birthday. So let's see what this is. I've got an idea in my head. You prefer to play it and pull. Oh, yeah, it's the quick, comp well, it's fairly quick competition one that's on at the moment. It's the Welsh Open, and I just love Ronnie O'Sullivan. I think he's a fantastic player, and I also like Ali Carter. But Ali Carter pulled out through illness. I was so looking forward to it. Never mind. Right, so I am going. She who has the COVID hair, 
I'm going to use her. Oops. I'm going to use her. And I'm just clearing a bit of space. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp her four times. Are we all oh, Formula One? I can't bear it when Formula One's on. Oh, I'm so glad Charles watches the telly out in the conservatory. I can't bear that noise. I really cannot bear that noise. Right, so I've got four squares. And I am going to stamp the chicken. Right, so there's one. Then I'm going to stamp another one so that it's looking on the side. <laughs> I do love this haircut. Do another one. Oh, so if I do another one that way, I can always turn it like so if I want to, or like so. And I'm going to do another one sort of on the diagonal. So we sort of got four chicks in different poses. Uh -huh. And I'm going to glue them to here. Am I going to give her green, give give her green hair and a green tail? What do you think? No, I'm going to leave her just the way she is. I like her the way she is. There's a bit of glue just here, or is it? Oh, I can't decide. Oh, it's on my finger. I've just decided. The glue is on my finger. Right. Okay. And do you know what I was going to do? I was only going to do three of them. So we'll see. Because I wanted one for the sentiment. Hmm. I'm going to use. I'm going to keep that one. I'm going to keep that one. So we're going to have one, two, one, two. We'll have that one. And we're going to turn that one over. And then the sentiment's going to go on that one. Okay? Right, so let's glue these bits together. Seem to have lost a square. Where's the other square gone? Is it still in me? Oh no, I've lost a square. Oh, I might just have to do through two of them then. Where did the other square go? Well, I know what I'll do as so I'll use that square and then we'll put the happy birthday on flat. Not on a square. I know I cut four out. There we go. So, this is going to go on here. That's going to go on here. I do like this wood effect paper. I think it's really nice. That's going to go like that. Okay, so let's glue those together. Glue that to 
over. Is it under the ink pad? You are clever, Val. Yes, it is. Well done. Oh, put that that way round. It looks like wood. You are keeping an eye on me, Val. Thank you. I would have never found that until I lifted the um the ink pad, unless you'd have told me. Right, so this is going to go like so, like so. Mm -hmm. Cool. So, here we are. And then this, this is my happy birthday. I'm going to put my happy birthday on there. And I might even put it on the wonk. Put it wonky. That's going to sit like that. So let's just glue that to that. And then bring in my silicon mat again and just put a bit blobs of glue on Oop. Go away, wind. Cool. And I've just got a little bit of the A stuck in there. Let's see if I can push that out. Yeah. Go. Gone. So that's going to go like that. So I'm going to pop that on there. Like, oh, the bit of the B is still stuck in there. Look. No wonder I get glue all over my fingers, is it? Let's pop that over there like that. Okay. Right. So now. Now, do I put these on wonky or shall I put them on wonky or straight? I think straight. with dimensionals why not because I can put these on with dimensionals and then my happy birthday I'll lay flat straight yeah I'm glad you agree Val straight Good, you agree, Hazel? That's what I like to see. And this goes on there. Okay, cool. Just going to do this by eye, but if you if you wanted to, you could do it with a a T ruler. 
but I'm going to try and do it by eye. And I think with dimensionals, because of the shadow that you're having it on dimensionals creates, sometimes it takes away from it not being exactly. Pam lives just down the road from me, on the opposite side of the road. So she doesn't have the school playing field at the back. She has houses at the back, don't you, Pam? And you're probably not quite as high as high as we are either, are you? Yeah. Oh, that's going to go on flat. Now this definitely needs a bow, Ooh, a bow. Now, a big bow, I think. So I'm gonna try and do a double bow. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use two pieces. Bring in my glue dots. Glue dots. Put one behind the knot. And I haven't cut it off yet. That's going to go in there. Like so. Now I can cut the ends off. I'm going to leave them quite long. And then I can just fiddle with that and spray it out a bit. Go. Cool. And we'll definitely have some. Oh. Pop some. Yeah. Just to make it. So it's not even. Here we go. Five. So there we go. There's another card. Um, when you're when with the blender pens, the the blends, what you will get, um, Pam, is you'll get a light and a dark. So oh, that's no good because that's up. Let me just show you. Uh, Calypso coral. I haven't got a label on that one. Right. So this is Calypso coral. All right. So this is light Calypso coral. I mean, obviously, I've put labels on mine. Um, so you can see there's a light version and then there's a dark version. All right. Uh, both of the same color, but dark, lighter and darker hues. And with a blender pen, you get a a, a brush end. And then you get a, a a firmer end, a stubby end. All right. Um, and when you're storing them, always make sure you store them flat. Because otherwise the alcohol will run out of them. Right. So that's what they look like. So you, when you order them, you order them as a pair. Um, and I've got a feeling they're £8.50 for two. All right. So they're both the same colour. But you get a light and a dark version. All right. Good. You get it. Real. Well, there we go, girls. Well, I have, we have done five cards again. 
do you know, it's getting to be a habit making five cards on Stamp and Sip Online, isn't it? Don't you think? But what's the time? Good grief. It's gone half past three, girls. You have been patient sticking with me. Right, I'm just getting rid of this so I can get out the cards that we've made. I've made. I say we, I've made them. <laughs> right, so there's the last one we did. And I've got a bit of... Get rid of that. There's the last one. Yeah, £8.50. That's what I thought it was. And then there's that one. And as you can see, they're all from the neutrals, apart from using a bit just to highlight the beacon stuff. There we go. Oh, and that one I had to use cherry cobbler in the end, didn't I? Because I didn't have um, the right colour to colour it with. So that's been coloured with the blender, with one of the blends, um, Pam. But I'm not very good at colouring. You'll be you'll be much better at it than I am. Right. So there we go, five cards. So good, I'm glad you like them, Val. I will do a blog post and I will put down the um the details of the stuff that I've used. Alright. And um, if there's anything you need, you can always pop to my shop. My online store is always open, as I say. Thank you all very, very much. Oh, Catherine. Oh, how long have you been there, Catherine? You've been sneaking in. I didn't see you. Come on. I didn't say hello to you. You especially like the last one. Good. Yay. They're good, aren't they? Cool. I'm really pleased with the way they've come out. Really nice. So thank you all very much, girls. You stay well. If you haven't had your jab yet, take even more care. And then when you've had your jab, do not go and do anything daft, is all I can say. I'm having my jab next week. So uh, we're all gradually getting done, aren't we? All right. And don't forget, Wednesday at 11.30... It will be mystery stamping. Oh, you've only been with us 30 minutes, Catherine. OK, well, you can always go back and watch me make the other ones if you're so inclined. I'll, no, you, 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 Pam, you go and buy it yourself. Don't buy from my online store. You buy it on your shop, on, on your demo site. All right, because then you'll get the discount from them. We'll talk later if you've got uh, if you've got uh, any questions, Pam. All right. So I'm going to go, girls. Thank you all very, very much. Um, and I will talk to some of you soon, I hope. Take care. Bye.